Hi, this is Elena Zuyak again from Mirix Looms, and welcome to week two of our online Get to Know Your Loom Tapestry class. We hope you are all warped and learned a lot from last week's course. Um, so now we are ready to begin weaving. Now, depending on what you are working on, if you're weaving beads or fiber or what you're doing, your projects are going to look very different. If you're going to weave tapestry, we definitely recommend starting with a book or an online class or an in-person class because tapestry to get to a basic level is more complex than weaving beads. The learning curve is very different. Um, and there are a lot of different factors that you're going to want to take into consideration. So, so starting with a resource like a book or a class, I, I feel, is very important. Um, and it's really going to help you along the way. Um, for weaving beads, you can probably just get started with the information we have on our website with kits. Uh, we have videos, we have tutorials, we have a lot of information there. I recommend looking at some of our free projects for some basics on weaving beads. Um, and there you can learn things like how to combine a larger bead with a smaller bead in the same project, uh, different methods of finishing. There are so many options out there with bead weaving. You also may want to experiment with using the shedding device if you have one or the no warp ends kit if you have one of those. So we have a lot of information on our site that you can really get started with um, and start playing around with. And as usual, you can always ask us questions. Um, if you are gonna start combining beads and fiber, I would begin with one of our projects like our tapestry bead cuff bracelet or our fiber and bead dog collar, just because that shows you, you know, which beads and which fibers you can start with um, that will work well together because the key to combining beads and fiber is making sure you have the right fiber, the right beads, the right set, which is the warp coil or spring on the top of your loom, uh, to make that all work well together. So once you start off with a project and you know that works, you can begin experimenting on your own. Um, one of the great things about Merrick's looms is that the possibilities really are endless. You know, you can start with, with basic projects and then even if you're going to stay in one medium, even if you're just going to weave tapestry, the possibilities of weaving tapestry are so great. Um, the possibility of weaving beads are so great. There are so many amazing things you can do. And then on a Mirix, you can, you can start experimenting. You can add some beads to your fiber, fiber to your beads. Um, you can use different kits like the No Warp Ends kit or the Bottom Spring kit. Um, you can start using the uh, electric treadle and that will speed up your tapestry weaving. There are just so many fun things that you can do and, and every day we see the work from our customers and we're just amazed at the creativity, that the things that they do at the amazing projects. So know that you're starting out on this journey and every project is not gonna be successful. You are going to make a lot of things that you don't like, that you're gonna cut off your loom, but you're also gonna be really successful. You're also gonna make things that you absolutely love and you're gonna come up with things that are just incredible. Um, and, and this really is just a journey that that you are, you are so going to enjoy. And uh, we welcome you to our community and we are really excited to see what you come up with. Uh, so let's get started this week. Have fun.